You Can Count On continues with Sarah Schaefer. One Hoosier tested an early model of a car on the road before Henry Ford did. Jane Pauley has more in today's Bicentennial Minute. Celebrate Indiana with this Bicentennial Minute, brought to you locally by Midwest America Federal Credit Union. This Indiana Bicentennial Minute is made possible by the Indiana Historical Society and the law firm of Krieg DeVault. Forget Henry Ford, Kokomo's Elwood Haynes road tested his first car two years before Ford. It was 1894 when Haynes used horses to pull his pioneer to the outskirts of town and drove it back to the 4th of July festivities in Kokomo that day, leaving the horses behind. As the little machine rolled along at a speed of six or seven miles an hour, I realized that a new era was coming of colossal proportions. Haynes invented more than the state's first automobile. In his lab, he created corrosion-resistant metals, and contracts during World War I helped make Haynes a millionaire. His mansion in Kokomo is a museum you can visit today. I'm Jane Pauley with this Indiana Bicentennial Minute. Made possible by the Indiana Historical Society and the law firm of Krieg DeVault. Our History Center is also celebrating Indiana's Bicentennial. Throughout the year, the center will share many historic items with us for its 200 at 200 event. You can find out more on our website, wayne.com. And speaking of historical items, this morning we're joined by Todd Pelfrey from the History Center with another awesome item. Thanks so much for coming in this Absolutely. morning, Todd. Good morning. Good to see you. And we've got a really cool video game system, the Odyssey. <laughs> Absolutely, and I tell you, we have been looking forward to the month of July for some time. This month's theme is Forward Through Innovation, and okay. we're highlighting the, the sense of creativity and industry and entrepreneurship that has been throughout our community for many generations. And this is easily one of the most significant innovations to come out of Northeast Indiana throughout the latter part, or throughout the middle part of the 20th century. What we have here is the Magnavox Odyssey, the Magnavox Odyssey 1, to be more specific. This was the first home video game console anywhere in the world. So just an incredible, incredible oh development created right here in Fort Wayne. So in the world. In, in the world. world. Yeah. yeah, so this predates Atari. You mentioned it wow. actually between breaks, it predates Pong. Absolutely, yeah. What's, what's stunning about the Magnavox Odyssey 1 is that one could play 12 different games. There were six cartridges included with the basic kit, okay. one game on each side. Um, it was uh, broadcast in just uh, standard uh, monochrome colors, no color uh, or sound or random number generators or anything. And to change games, not only did you have to insert a different cartridge, but you had to take one of these 12 transparencies and place it up onto your television screen, thus changing the, the <laughs> game. Wow. Um, but yeah, what's, what's really amazing is that a lot of folks think that Pong was the first home video game system. Pong was actually an adaptation of the training version, uh, the first game that came out with the Odyssey called Table Tennis, oh, wow. um, which okay. actually created the first video game lawsuit about four years oh. later. <laughs> Interesting. So what are some and kind of the other things? I mean, obviously we have some dye and then some other pieces. Yeah, got poker what else do you here. have here? Right, well I tell you, for, uh, for each system, not only did one have to view the television to play it um, and use the, the overlay transparencies, but there were usually uh, uh, an additional set of gaming pieces and a board game. One of my favorite games is football because it did have the options of passing, running, and kicking. Um, to pass or punt, one had to insert cartridge number three, and if you wished to shift to a running play, you had to take out cartridge three and put in cartridge four. <laughs> so it was a very, be fast. You had to be really quick to be able wow. to play football on the Odyssey. So, we're, And what year did this come out again? This came out in 1972. 1972. So Madden 72, right? Football? <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> very cool. Well, thank you for sharing with us. Yeah, it's hard to believe that cool. even game systems like the PS4 could probably be traced back to to this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you ever played a video game from the comfort of your home, it all traces back Started to this right Fort Wayne here. Right here in Fort Wayne. The Magnavox Odyssey. Well, thanks okay. so much, Todd. The 200 at 200 event runs all year long at the History Center downtown. And you can see a new item on the first Saturday of every month right here on News Channel 15. The History Center hours are from noon to 5 today. Admission is $6 for adults, $4 for seniors and children. We'll be